All right, what's good, guys? Um, so, I recently built a uh, Skylake rig, as anybody who is subscribed to my channel probably already knows. Um, the motherboard I used, the MSI Z170 SLI Plus, has a total of five fan headers on the motherboard. Two CPU fan headers and three system uh, fan headers, case fans. So normally you'd be able to control the, the rotations, the speed at which the fan um, spins through the, through the motherboard settings. So I ordered a couple of SP120s from Corsair to put at the top of my case as intake fans. And in doing so, I had one available fan header on the motherboard because I was replacing um, an SP140 that I had up on the top of the case with two SP120s. So I had four fans plugged in, uh, the CPU fan header being occupied by my, um, my H80i GT and uh, the three case fans, I had uh, a 120 on the front or a 140 on the front as out, uh, an exhaust fan, a 120 on the back, and a 140 on the top. So that was four out of the five. So when I got the two SP120s, I replaced a 140 with one of the 120s and then had to install a second 120. The only fan header I had left being the second CPU fan header <clears throat> on my SLI Plus motherboard. So when I installed that fan, it ran at full speed. No matter what I did. I couldn't adjust it in Corsair Link, couldn't adjust it in the motherboard, uh, in the BIOS. Um, I was pretty much at 100% speed all the time. Corsair is, is nice enough to um, to include some voltage step down extensions with the SP120s, but if you look right here this is the fan in question this is the SP120 that is plugged in currently to my um, CPU fan 2 header <clears throat> and you will see uh, I, I used the voltage step down extension reducing it from 12 volts to 7 volts on that CPU fan header but it still hovers right around 1620 to 1670 RPMs a second uh, or a minute I'm sorry um, and I'm sure you might even be able to f hear the faint hum of that fan in the background of this video right now. So I'm unable to adjust this fan's curve. I can't apply, uh, I can't slow it down. I can't speed it up. It's just constant. 1600, right now it's at a, a minimum of 1616, a maximum of 1674, and it is just way too goddamn loud. So today we are going to be fixing this. We're going to figure out a way to fix it. Uh, I ordered something from Amazon to uh, to help out in the fixing process and hopefully by the end of this video we will have that second fan not rotating at 1600 RPMs and causing a shitload of noise. So I'm going to grab the camera right now and we're going to go up. So there's the two SP120s on the top of my case. And it's this guy right here. <coughs> the, excuse me. That is plugged in. You can even see just by the two centers of those fans right there that the one on the right, this one over here, is spinning way less than the one on the left. That thing is humming. And you can hear it. It's audible. It's constant. So Let's get into this. I'm going to get the computer cracked open and show you guys what I came up with as a solution to this problem. Stay tuned. Alright, so here we are. Uh, computer on its side. Power disconnected. Um, both side panels removed. And I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to show this until I get it removed. But there is the second CPU fan header right there. And the problem is this is sending a full 12 volts. There's no way to regulate this aside from the power. So you can see the step down, the 7 volt step down, step down cable from Corsair. Just gonna go ahead and pull that off of there. And then 
routed this a little bit behind the motherboard here. Let's pull this out. So there is the fan in question, that voltage step down cable. So <clears throat> probably wondering how do I plan on fixing this? So what I have is these guys right here. Noctua NA-SYC2 two times three pin Y cables. So basically this is a you know two female to one male three pin fan connection and what the plan is is to disconnect the other SP120 that's up there which is right here. I'm going to remove that uh, zip tie. Um, connect those both to the two ends of this, route it back behind the motherboard on the opposite side, manage the cables back there, and just have this one, this one cable connected into that fan header right there, which is a system fan. You can see SysFan 3 right there on the motherboard, and it's completely controllable uh, in the BIOS. So I'm going to get some setup stuff done here, get the cables routed behind and all that, and I'll be back in just a second. Alright, so as you can see, there is the, uh, the Y cable on that System Fan 3 header there. I push the two sides of it through the grommet onto the back side of the case. And then uh, you can see the two female ends of that Y splitter coming out here. We have the one, the SP120 on the, the right side. That cable is coming through right there. And then on the opposite side, we have the other cable from the other SP120. <clears throat> so these are both going to connect into here. And then uh, I'll manage up the cables. Look at this rat's nest. So one thing I hated about this case and about building in this Corsair 450D, the options for with you know with a lot of a lot of stuff set up, there's really not much you can do in the way of uh, cable management. But <clears throat> I'm going to get these hooked up. Uh, get the computer, get all the cables managed, get the computer closed back up, boot it up, and see if we can control both of the, sp the speed of both of those fans in the BIOS. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so <clears throat> here we are back in the BIOS. Uh, everything looks to be going great. Both of the fans are spinning. Um, and here is uh, System Fan 3. Let me just see. So you can see that I'm in System Fan 3's profile. And you'll actually be able to audibly hear this um, when I when I move this because you can only <coughs> control the percentage. There's no fan curve with the system fans, so when I move this up, I have it at 50% right now. We're at um, 1,036 RPMs, right about, right around 1,000 RPMs. Um, when I move this percentage up, if I go up to about 80 or 90 percent, you will audibly be able to hear. Let me just tilt this a bit. There, better. Uh, you will audibly be able to hear these fans kick the hell in and go into high gear. So let's slide this thing up to about 88 percent. And then I'll pick the camera up, get it near those fans. You won't. Hopefully, that's coming through on the video. It's, it sounds like a jet turbine. Let's go check and see if both of them are spinning that fast. Yep, and you can see those fans humming along. Now obviously, I'm going to tone that down a bit because, uh, frankly, that is ridiculous. So let's get it down to, say, 45%. Because <coughs> with five case fans now I would say around 950 to a thousand rpms will be plenty to push nice cool air into the system so I think that's gonna do it for this video guys a quick way if you have a fan in your BIOS they just can't seem to 
regulate and slow down this is probably the cause the header that you're running the fan off of is probably voltage control only no system fan speed control and here's a nifty little fix where you can run two fans off of a single header in order to get control over that over that fan and the system will only treat it the system will treat it as one fan so anything you do to one will happen to the other and before you know it you'll have a whisper quiet system <coughs> like this one behind me or in front of me I guess you can see all the fans the fans on the radiator for the HADI GT running nice and slow please don't comment that my power supply is upside down it's not did that on purpose you can hear and you can see these two fans running much much slower but still blowing plenty of cool air into the case so that's gonna do it for this one guys uh, if you like this video please like it share it uh, subscribe for way more videos featuring the Skylake rig. Uh, I'm still going to do a, a full system tour. I know I said that a couple of videos ago and I haven't got around to it. I've been quite busy. Um, so just bear with me. I will do a, a, a full tour, a full run through of everything I ended up doing with the system. I, I wanted to wait until I was at a point where it was where it was done and I think I finally finished it. I think I'm done with it now. So uh, that's going to do it guys. Uh, Sworn Leader, signing out.